<laughs> Mikey, we're back home now. Do you see that? Now there is a villager in front of our house who is breaking down the door. Let's see what he does. He's using a piston to try to get inside. It seems he managed to do it, but why is he breaking into our house? I think I'm starting to guess. Let's look out the window carefully now. He takes everything that was in our chests and it's terrible. We're running fast because he's coming back. Oh! Mikey, I'm looking at all this from the outside now and I'm very surprised. We were robbed by a villager and he took all our jewelry and belongings. It seems that now he is trying to look around and return home. The good thing is that he doesn't know that we saw him trying to rob our house. Huh? Let's not beat him up, and now let's see what he's doing in his house. I see that he hid all the jewelry under his bed. It makes me very angry and I'm starting to hate this villager. He's really acting very strangely right now. Hide urgently, because he is sealing up his windows so that no one will notice it. What are we going to do next? Mikey, I have a very cool idea. We urgently go up to the roof of the house now and try to get through the chimney. <laughs> But we definitely need to shrink in size, so now I'm taking out the potion as soon as possible and drinking it. I think we will definitely succeed. The moment has come to jump down, so now in no case do not miss this opportunity. Ho <laughs> ho! I can't believe my eyes! We have really become small and are now in the house of the villager who robbed us. Let's take a close look at everything that is here and see how people live here. I see that this is an ordinary house and there is nothing special here. We need to do something urgently now because we can't waste time for so long. Mikey, pay attention. This is not an ordinary house because there are a lot of unusual things here. So, let's go to the villager. It seems he is sleeping now and does not move. Woohoo! This is very good because we can take advantage of the moment and punish him. The main thing is not to wake up in any case and do not come close now. Be careful! Okay, but I think nothing terrible is going to happen for sure. So far, I'm just having fun and enjoying the fact that we're small and in this house. The main thing is that the villager does not wake up. I have some kind of strange premonition. I don't understand what it's connected with. Oh no, he just woke up and abruptly got out of bed. He crushed me. <laughs> this is very bad because now a villager stepped on Mikey and didn't even notice him. Now he has turned into a flat one. He needs urgent help, so I'll run to the potion maker for now and try to find at least some medicine. At the moment, we are in great danger and Mikey needs to be rescued urgently. The main thing is that the villager does not notice us in any case, so now I will urgently take the potion that is on the table. It will add a lot of health. Mikey will be the same again. I really hope that I can do it. In no case should I be distracted now, so I'll run as close as possible and try to help him. <laughs> the main thing is that nothing bad happens. Mikey, I found what you need. Now I'll give you a potion and you'll be the same. I will be very glad if this happens. Thank you very much. You can't imagine how glad I am. Thanks to the potion I stopped being flat and became the same. So let's run under the bed as fast as possible now and look at the jewelry that the villager stole from us. I am sure that we will be able to take them for ourselves and thus deceive the one who stole all this from us. The good thing is that you hid under the bed. It's a lot of fun. Oh! There are a lot of other things here. Paper, a camera, and much more. But at the moment, we need to hide ourselves under the bed as soon as possible so that no one can come here. In the near future, we will definitely use the jewels that we have collected. We will make very good weapons and armor for ourselves. We will need it soon. I have no doubt about it. I am very happy now that you and I are jointly building our house under the bed. But now the most important thing is to make armor. So let's use the jewelry that we found. It's time to use the workbench. So put it somewhere in the corner and we'll start. Ho <laughs> oh. First, you will need to make a diamond helmet. I think that this way you will look much better and protect yourself. Mikey, you never cease to amaze me. It's really a lot of fun. I never would have thought that in all this time you and I would do something like this. For now, let me do the construction now. Try not to distract me. A villager can come here at any time and we must be ready for this. You can see that I have already laid out a huge amount of wood and almost finished the walls. You're a great guy and I didn't even doubt it. 
So let's not stop now and continue on. But I have a very strange question. You saw a strange cluster of cobwebs in the corner of the bed. Surely someone lives here too. Yeah. I'm still surprised that we have a whole house under our bed. Now, with the help of a workbench, you have made me a helmet made of diamonds. I am incredibly grateful to you for this. And now I want to ask you something. But at the moment, we'd better not be distracted because I hear loud footsteps right now. A villager has come here. Interesting. What does he want to do now? Surely he came back for a reason and he has some idea. So now let's closely monitor his actions. He comes closer and closer to the bed and it becomes incredibly interesting to me. <sighs> we need to be very quiet right now and in no case attract attention. I don't want him to notice us. I think I'm starting to guess. He's trying to throw some vegetables under the bed right now. I see that now there is a carrot and something else lying here. You can see that he is really here by the bed ready to put anything. And it honestly surprises me a little. Let's get a camera as soon as possible and use it. We need to take pictures of all the food that he's stolen through here right now. <laughs> Mikey, this is a very good idea. I never thought you'd figure it out. Therefore, I am urgently running to get cameras, and after that, I will start photographing every part of his house. I think everyone will be surprised when they find out what this terrible villager is really doing. Won't be able to take a picture just like that, so I need to climb up with the help of a ladder. Take high-quality photos and in large quantities. We will definitely have to use them, but now the most important thing is that the villager does not notice us. Hmm. I see that you have already taken all the necessary photos, and it makes me very happy. Come down quickly, because we have to pick up this food, and in no case will we leave it on the floor. There's a lot of food here. That's why I agree with you, and now I have to collect it. The villager doesn't appreciate it at all, and I think he stole it from his neighbor. But these are just my guesses. So far, I'm taking the carrots and all the other vegetables. I can imagine the face of the owner of this house when he sees that all his things are missing. I think he deserves to be punished and will definitely answer for his actions. We need to hurry up because there's not much time left. A villager may return here at any moment and we will have problems. Take the last seeds and vegetables. We're running under the bed. It's much safer there and we can do anything. Woohoo! The main thing is that the villager does not come here again and cause us a huge amount of damage. I am very glad that we have collected so many different things. Mikey, now it's time to use the workbench because we need a chest to put it all in there. I think that now I will make it without much difficulty and it will be great. Now we will be able to put a huge amount of things there and I think that this is definitely one of the most important items in our house. I'm tired of holding all the vegetables and materials in my hands. <laughs> I see that you've done a very good job right now, and the chest is completely filled with them. But I have a very strange feeling right now. I don't understand what it's related to. I think I hear some kind of squeak. Oh no, it's a spider! I never thought he'd show up here. We need to fight him urgently and do everything possible so that he does not attack us in any case. Mikey, don't take any chances. I don't want you to get hurt. It's very important to me that everything is fine with you. I see that you're trying to fight him. Just give me time because I want to make armor. The spider must be destroyed, but we can't take that risk. <gasps> now I will come to your aid soon. Be patient a little more. We'll be able to beat him soon. Please help me because it's incredibly hard to fight right now. You see that he doesn't just leave. We urgently need to make a barrier for him so that he cannot get out. I'll keep him in the corner and you start building because we can't miss the opportunity. He has to stay here forever. It seems that we are doing well and soon this spider will be in this fence. Mikey, you beat him up so badly right now. To be honest, I didn't expect you to have such a dislike for spiders. But now everything has ended very well for us because the spider is now completely locked up and he will not be able to go anywhere. I'm pretty sure of that. So now let's take a good look at the door. It seems that a villager has come here and we need to follow him urgently. I can't believe my eyes. It seems that he has brought a very cool sword here now. We need to get it for ourselves urgently. <laughs> He probably stole it in this village and I don't even doubt it. So now we will try to climb on the stove in every possible way. 
The sword is lying there, and in no case are we wasting time now. As soon as we get to him, we will immediately become the owners of a very rare weapon. It is very cool! It still surprises me that we were able to do all this now in the house of a villager. It's time to go up the stove! I have a special ladder, and soon I will take back what he stole. Oh! This is the rarest weapon I have ever seen, because the purple sword is made of the most durable materials, and it was used only by the best warriors. I suggest now not to waste time as soon as possible to take it for yourself. A villager will come here soon, and then we can hit him with this rare weapon. He should be punished for doing this to the whole village. I see that you are carrying him in your arms and you are very good at holding him. I still don't understand how, but you are very strong. Ho oh, ho! Mikey, I've already gone downstairs, and now it's time to get closer to the bed as quickly as possible. I want to wait for the villager to come because we have to launch an attack on him. I don't want all this to go on, so the most important thing for me is to defeat him. I can hear loud footsteps now, and he came here. It's time to attack. Just please don't take any chances. I don't want any of us to get hurt. Great! I still can't believe you could do something like that. But now the villager is completely unconscious and can't move properly. Hmm. Mikey, he's lying on the floor right now. I suggest we don't be so small anymore. We have punished the main criminal, and we have a very powerful weapon in the form of a purple sword. Now it's time to grow in size and become the same. I feel just fine right now because we've increased in size. I don't see any point in staying here anymore. The villager suffered from the sword he stole. We are now running out into the street as fast as possible. I want to find a policeman as soon as possible in order to show everything that we managed to photograph. I hope that he will be arrested soon. Mikey, you can't think about this ahead of time either. I do not know how the police will react because he may think that we are deceiving him. <sighs> I think I know where he is now. Hello! We have been looking for you for so long, you have no idea. But a terrible criminal has appeared in our village, and we are ready to prove it to you. Please listen to us carefully, and in no case be distracted. The policeman is now at a loss and does not understand why we ran up to him so abruptly. But the main thing is to show him all the photos that we took, then point to the villager who is now lying on the floor and not moving. I hope that he will be arrested soon and after that he will be punished. Now we are taking him to the right place. The policeman believed us. This is very good, because now we are watching a villager lying on the floor and not moving. He has a stolen sword next to him, and now it's time to handcuff him as soon as possible. <laughs> I'll make a cage that the policeman will definitely put him in. I still can't believe that we did it, and now I'm building grids. You're working very efficiently right now, and I didn't expect you to immediately start building a cage for this villager. Now he will never be able to get out of it, and I'm sure of it. The most interesting thing is that the police did not understand who was carrying out the theft in his village, but now he is very happy with the information that we provided him. The main thing is not to stop and keep working. <sighs> Mikey, I'm trying to do this. Don't distract me yet, because it's not that easy to make a cage. It must be made of the best materials, and now a villager will stay in this house forever. I don't want him to run away, so I treat my job very well. I suggest everyone get out, because now I'm going to start putting up the bars at the very exit. Then we just ran out into the street and finish it as soon as possible. I am sure that the villager will never get out of this house now. It's time to just watch him from the sidelines. I think that when he regains consciousness, he will be very surprised that there are bars around him and he will not have time to run out anywhere. I am very glad that the policeman is nearby and nothing threatens us. <laughs> Hooray! I'm almost done with my work, and now we can watch without any problems as the criminal lies on the floor near the sword and will not be able to escape anywhere. It remains only to wait for him to regain consciousness, and it seems that he is starting to move now. We are very glad that you will be punished. We are very glad that you are sitting in a cage now, and it's time to take back everything you stole from us as soon as possible. I won't let him keep these things, so now let's destroy his house. Let him continue to sit in the cage, and we'll start taking our things. The policeman fully agrees to this. Now the villager will stay here forever. Mikey, I see that you are very angry and can't talk to him properly. Hmm. 
But I think the best option would be if we still bring photos to his house and show him what he really did. So now I'm going to get a camera as soon as possible and take the most important photo to the policeman. It will show how a villager sits in a cage. I am extremely glad. It's very good that you got such a cool idea in your head. So now get it over with as soon as possible because I'm very tired. I would like to rest. The policeman is waiting for you to provide him with the main photo, which indicates the arrest of the criminal. We have to finish all the work as soon as possible and go to our house. <sighs> Mikey, I understand that you are very tired, but just wait a little longer. I'm going to destroy another part of his house. Then we'll run to rejoice and have fun. There will be no point in us staying here anymore. The policeman is now very glad that we carried out such an arrest and provided him with all the necessary evidence and photos. I can't wait any longer. Finish your work as soon as possible. I see that you have already destroyed most of the roof, and I see no point in continuing. Throw away the tool as soon as possible. We will now run to have fun and relax. The policeman lets us do it. We were under a villager's bed and punished for stealing things from others. That's how our incredible adventure ended. Thank you all so much for watching. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel, like it, and leave your comments.